Exactly six months ago, I was in an authorized dealer to purchase a Tudor Black Bay 58, but I didn't do it. I purchased this instead. You see, the Black Bay 58 was everything I wanted it to be, and there was really no good reason why I shouldn't add it to my collection. But this watch was just to the side, and I couldn't stop looking at it. Then I made a huge mistake, and I put this watch on my wrist. It took me 35 minutes of walking around that shop with this watch on my wrist before I finally convinced myself I didn't need it. I shouldn't buy it. There's no place for this watch in my watch collection. Leave it, let it go. So I let it go. Fast forward six months exactly, that's today. This watch is now mine. It's very beautiful. It's very controversial. Let's check this thing out. There's nothing about this watch that I don't personally like. And yet, after I examined my heart, the biggest contributing factor to convincing me six months ago that I shouldn't buy this watch was wearability. I listened to rumors and other people's opinions and based my decision back then not to buy this watch on their opinions. But I didn't listen to my own heart. You see, my engineering background has always made me a problem solver. I love solving problems. And for me, this Tudor P01 only had one problem that needed to be solved, wearability. This hybrid tan leather rubber strap that this watch comes with is really well designed. With its ceramic bearings, robust profile, it looks like it can easily go the distance. It really does. But wearability wise, it felt a little out of place on my wrist. Yet the watch head itself was beautiful. Coming in at 42mm case diameter with a case thickness of just over 14mm, that lug to lug distance of 55mm, technically on paper, this watch should fit a man with a wrist size of 7 inch and upward. So technically I should be able to pull this watch off. And I did. In the shop for 35 minutes I couldn't take this watch off my wrist, it just worked. But there was something missing. Although it sat well on my wrist, I felt deep in my heart that this watch not only wanted something more, it needed it. For my way of wearing and enjoying watches, I needed a strap option that provided great comfort, but also suit the character and styling of this watch. Everyone who's been following my channel knows me and knows very well that I love changing up straps on watches. It's the most inexpensive modification we can all do to a watch. To not only change out its dynamics and looks, but in many cases, and more importantly, the wearability and comfort factor. I give you guys the Tudor Black Bay P01 with a shark mesh. It's got a nicely milled clasp, dual locking system, and it works. It just works, guys. I love it. I've basically made this watch much more enjoyable for the present day. So why do I love everything about this watch? because there's nothing like it on the market today. Not only because of its unusual design that Tudor put forth to the US Navy. It was a watch that was trying to fix a bezel problem that all the watches of that period had. No, no, not because of that. The fact that this watch was not selected by the Navy, a failed prototype of sorts, and a very good one at that, but failed nonetheless. You see, the fact that Tudor decided to do something in history that no other manufacturer has done before or since, that's made this watch very, very special. They've basically put into production a failed prototype. For us mere mortals, non-Navy SEALs, non-Special Forces, we can appreciate this thing and for a small season we can acquire it and we can add it to our own personal collection. You see, in the area of coolness and X-Factor, this thing is an 11. Seriously, whether you love this watch or whether you hate this watch, there's no getting away from the fact that Tudor, the little bad brother of Rolex, has gone and done something very, very cheeky. And in doing so, they've created waves in the watch community and plenty of them. Personally, I say, 
Good on you, Tudor. Good on you for having the guts to stick to your motto. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Oh, hang on, that, that's Star Trek. Born to dare. Well, I might have got the motto wrong, but there's a saying. The proof is in the pudding. And I'm liking this pudding, guys. I really am. Speaking of Rolex, Tudor doesn't get the same brand recognition in the area of prestige as its big brother. But that's exactly why so many people love this brand. You see, modern day Tudor has traveled so far away from the stigma that followed them in the early days of being a cheap man's Rolex. But not today, not anymore. When someone wears a Tudor watch on their wrist, people in the know, other watch collectors, not only show recognition, but respect. Because people who wear a Tudor watch demonstrate that they know and appreciate watches. And this bad boy, which I labelled the troublemaker, is the watch that has boldly ventured into territories that others dare not touch. Well done, Tudor. Seriously, well done. Now I can go on and on and tell you about its amazing in-house movement, which in the real world has not even gained or lost one second over the past two weeks of wearing it. I can tell you all that stuff. Or I can tell you how stunning that doll is, how beautifully designed with a vintage feel that they've got out of this watch. I can even go and say that those extended lugs and the click ratcheting system with that bezel won't suit many people's wrists. They'll find it a burden. There's plenty of things to love, there's plenty of things to hate. But when the wearer, me, looks down at my wrist and I see this conversation starter, a piece of history that has brought division, curiosity, confusion, and even awe, it reminds me that there is nothing else like this in the watch world, and that's gotta be a little bit special, and that's gotta be a little bit unique. To me, Tudor has managed to create a modern day masterpiece. Whether it's loved or whether it's hated, it's irrelevant. It is what it is. Every morning when I look into my personal watch box to select my daily wear, this is the first watch I notice and it always brings a smile and a warm feeling to my heart. No regrets here guys, none whatsoever. You see, six months ago I actually put a post in the community tab and I asked you guys, I said, I was in this shop and I wanted to buy this watch. I was, I was contemplating, yes, no, yes, no. I kept it on my wrist for about 35 minutes. I didn't know what to do. And the answers surprised me. Your feedback surprised me. 70, 80% of you guys said, mate, what are you waiting for? Pull the trigger. The other 20, 25% said, nah, don't do it. It's an ugly duckling. And you know, I, I, I seriously went away and examined my own heart I thought, I love this watch. It really doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. For me personally, I love this particular watch. I went in to buy the Tudor Black Bay 58 in blue. I saw it, I felt it, I grabbed it, I thought, gee, this is great. But like I said, this thing here was just to the side and it was looking at me saying, Pete, what about me? And I think, absolutely, what about me? I love it, absolutely love it. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Give me the hate, <laughs> give me the love, just give me some neutrality, but give me something. For me, this thing's lovely. I'm so, so smitten by it and very, very pleased, not only in its technical ability with that movement, but the fact that it's something so unique and so different, couldn't be happier. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you all in the next video.